Most people by now have seen this insane clip, and this is Elisa Georgiana. Sitting in her passenger seat is her top donator, Scoro, and he's donated roughly $2 million to her streams in less than a year. But this situation ended with Elisa being arrested for battery. In my last video on the situation, we covered what led up to this moment. Now, we're covering what happened after this moment, as the body cam footage was recently released, and she's now out of jail, back to streaming, and more unhinged than ever. But it's safe to say these two have had quite the rocky relationship with each other. Scoro is allegedly the son of an Iranian billionaire. He got a crush on Elisa during her time in the Howard Stern show, where she was essentially known for being Benji Bronx girl. And this is also something like eight years ago. Fast forward seven years and he found out that she was streaming on YouTube. He started donating like $50 at a time. Then that increased to $100, $250, $500, thousands of dollars, then $25,000 donations at a time. It is just absolutely insane. They started talking on the phone on stream. He essentially verbally attacked her over and over, but because the dude was lobbing over tens of thousands of dollars at a time, she didn't really Really complained too much and ended up going out to meet him. Then they had their first date on her live stream and he was wearing a shirt so small it looked like his buttons were on their way out. It's safe to say the camera lens was in the danger zone, but the stream chat ended up roasting the guy for an hour until he had called the police on Elisa because she didn't want to end the stream. So... <laughs> It's safe to say the first date could have gone a little bit better, but I guess that didn't stop them from dating as he continued to donate tens of thousands of dollars a time and uh, they kept streaming more of their dates and they kept getting worse and worse because it started off bad, but it's safe to say it was all downhill from there. And that absolute downward spiral has led us to where we are today, where Elisa was arrested for misdemeanor assault in that viral clip that all of us saw. What most people haven't seen is what happened after the viral clip. Because shortly after this clip, the police shows up and the absolute chaos just continues. The only one near the car when the police showed up was Scora, so this was the first contact. She put like the information of this person that she was speaking out. She's like, call her up. I want to get canceled. I want to get views. And then the person called. She was like, can you stop this? And she started like punching me in the face. I was like, Elisa, stop. And then she punched me my thing. It's all in like the screen. And then she gave me like a big punch in my nose. I pulled her hair, so stop. And then she, she got out the car, like the side, and they, they saw so the, but the, the bystander. He's talking to her, she's over there? Yeah, she got into the, I don't know who that person is, but to a bystander, it looks like I was like beating her up, right? Okay, so, well, yeah. you know, if you pull the hair. Yeah, I know, but like she was punching my face and like. Okay, it's, well, you, it's can, like, you can always walk away or get in your no, car and drive away. Oh, no, no, the car was moving, right? Okay. The, the car was in the middle of the thing, in the middle of the street, and she was just okay. punching me in my face. Like, okay, I understand what you're saying. I'm saying, if you can punch her back you can do something else you can pull over you no can, you can you know. see the footage you okay know. sir I'm, I, I'm, you're right it, 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 could, it could have been handled better i agree thank you that's yeah. all i'm trying to say you're right so then the cop needs to go find elisa because apparently she was in someone's van oh what's going on i don't know either one of these people do okay. you see any of it or she just i, got I was driving up the street and she all of a sudden she no no she jumped out of the vehicle like out in, of this one yeah and like in the road right here she jumped out of the driver's side of this vehicle okay like they were fighting I didn't see anybody hit anybody, but she okay. jumped out frantically. She ran to my van. She jumped in my van. But well, you were over here, or you were no, no, we were we were on gunfire. Okay. And then uh, okay, you guys were on gunfire. There was another gentleman in a red truck who called you guys. Yeah, and he he took off already, and okay. uh, he kind of blocked him from leaving anywhere. Okay. And now she's frantic. She wants her phone from the car. She's scared. Uh, you know, she's okay. Let me. Out of my van. <laughs> How you doing, ma'am? Okay. Can you come out here and talk to me? Yeah. Okay, we're going to let this gentleman go. Well, what about me? Okay, well, he he doesn't know you, so okay, he said... Okay, thank you. Sorry. The cop starts to question her, and she says the same story as Scoro until this point. What admits to cheating on me, even though I had all the evidence? I know. I know. I'm not going to hate you. I know, but can you just stay? Anyway, the girl was calling me. Yeah. His girlfriend. We're supposed to be married. Okay. Anyway. Are called. you guys married? We have the license, but something so, told me not to do it, okay. so I chickened out. Um, okay. Am I going to be arrested? Can you just tell me? I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. He's talking to my partner, talking to your your fiance, I guess. Yeah, or whatever. The, I don't. I, I don't know. If you guys haven't filed it, so I guess fiance. But so, so you guys were arguing in the car. What happened? I did slap. Okay. Is that jail time? Well, I'm trying to figure out what's happening because I see you got a mark on your chest here. You got a mark on your forehead. He's can, strangling me. Can you stick your your hands out for me? He's strangling me. Mm -hmm. why, why do you want to see my hands? I just, I'm trying to see if there's any marks on your hands. Oh, no. Just, yeah, you, he was like straight He was like this. Okay, like, let me see. While you were in the car? While yeah, you were I, driving? I, I was, or when? Yeah, I was thrown out of the you car. you pull your hair back? Okay. I was thrown out of the car. 
<laughs> anyway, these two nice guys freaked out. I thought he was going to kill me. I did stop him, though. So I okay. feel like bad. So... Like I said, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I just want to make sure I don't... So, how did, so she just doesn't want to go to jail. But throughout this entire stop, it becomes more and more apparent that she's going to jail. I, I, said, you... I, I said I'm going to kill you, but you know, I always say that. Okay. I, it wasn't really good cut. So you slapped him, said you were going to kill him, and then that's when he grabbed you and, around your neck yeah, yeah. and pushed you out of the car. You yeah. managed to put it in park before you pushed you out of the car? That's a good question. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a good question. I don't know. Why is she driving? There's so much footage of this woman doing everything but paying attention to the road. And it gets so much worse in her first live stream back after all this. I hope my head's okay. Okay. Did you see it? I did see it. No, but did you see me get thrown from the car? Yeah, I was. Was it driving when I was thrown? Okay, let me talk to you. Okay, what did you see? I just see it pull up. Over here? Yeah. And then... I didn't really see but. Okay. Oh, you didn't? My head really hurts. Do you think I should go to the hospital? But right now we're trying to figure out what's going on. What if I have a concussion? Oh my God. What if I have a concussion? How would you have a concussion? Did you hit your head? Because uh, my head's shaking with the so much, so violently. Do you want the fire department to check you out? How would they do that? They would just... Can you not have him see that? Because I don't want him to see me with like the fire department. They're, they're, if you request the fire department, they're going to roll up with their engine. And park here and check you out. If you think you need medical attention, they can they can, can do I just that. Just go to urgent care. Can you just take me to urgent care? After, I, I can't take it urgent care. Afterwards, you would be able to go to urgent care. Okay, so if somebody takes your head and violently, like, could things happen there? If you, I'm not a doctor. I, I just feel like weird right now. In my head. If you want the fire department to check you out, they are the medical experts, not me. They they I will take your blood pressure. I can't. They have big red trucks. I okay. can't avoid that. Okay, one quick question. Yes. Do you think I'm gonna go to jail since I slapped? I haven't. I haven't talked to him. No, I but he could say anything. You could say anything. That's what we're trying to figure out. This is just all over the place. Okay, so she thinks she was choked and that she might have a concussion. I'm talking to you. My partner's talking to him. We're trying to figure it out. Would you like? I the, ha, I ha, can you take? Would you like the fire department to check you out? Do you think you need medical attention? Right that's that's all I'm asking. If you don't feel right, they can check you out. It doesn't cost anything. Doesn't cost anything. No, they come and they they'll hook up a blood pressure to you, check check your vitals, make sure you're okay. I'm not a doctor. Okay. Like I can they also, are medically trained. All right, maybe I should do that. Oh, it's so embarrassing to do that. Can, can, can you please get my phone so I can call my mom? <laughs> She is just all over the place. But this officer calls in the fire department and Elisa continues to make sure that she gets arrested. If I started this, but I was oh, at least yeah, violent oh, oh. once. But you're a police officer, you should know. If I, yes, but if, I haven't got his side of the story. No, but his side of the story is going to be, I beat him up and I started to kill him. That's, it's going to look really bad on me. Do you think I'm going to jail? So you only slapped him what, no, what, a few times. Like, so you slapped him a few times. Like, yeah. so, you know how women do. They okay. do it. And, I, I don't know. So I've only seen him walking past him, I saw him, right? Yeah, but he has a lot of scratches him, but they're not for me. Okay, well, he's, that's what I'm going to, he has one cut right here oh, that yeah. is probably from one of your rape. Yeah, sorry, you but is that jail I time for life? I haven't talked to him. But it's just a new experience. Yeah. In Florida, it is. Not Lifetime, though. She's being dramatic. People are saying that she's off a uh, Lil Xan right here. And I'm not really sure if I believe that because if she really is, I can only imagine what she's like when she's not off one. So uh, <laughs> good luck to anyone around her because this is high energy. And you're experienced. You could, if, if it turns out you're both beating each other, you could both go to jail. For or why you could go to jail. I don't make those decisions. I take, I would take, usually? I would take you guys to jail if that was what happened. Right? That is what happened. No, I'm saying if I were to take you both to jail, you would be booked in and you would see a judge in the morning. That's what would happen if you guys went to jail. And then, do you guys live together? No, right now we are. I'm so stupid. I'm so okay. stupid. So where, Oh my God, I'm so stupid. You guys, how long have you guys been living together? Just started. He just moved here. It's so fucked up. This how, is the worst situation. How long have you guys been together? I know him for like six months. He's been cheating on me the whole time. This is my fault. So he, you, he was more violent than my fault. How long have you guys been engaged or had been married? Hold up. So she said he's been cheating on her for like two years, but they just met in person a few months ago. This is not adding up whatsoever. Four months. It's really stupid. Okay, so you met him six months ago? I thought you said he'd been cheating on you for two years. Okay, so, okay, that's a good point. And this won't be the only flaw in her story. He has had a crush on me or whatever for like eight years. Do you know, okay. knows me from the radio. I'm a radio guys, person. How long have you been dating? And after my birthday, so after June. June of last year. Yeah. He's gonna want me in prison. Almost, almost he, the he's year. Gonna, and he's rich, so he can get me in prison for life. Do you think? And I'm you guys, gonna... you guys live together now? We were gonna. He, okay, you said you just started. We're in the Airbnb right now. Okay, so you guys are living. My mom Airbnb. probably thinks I'm dead, right? Mm -hmm. I just fine. Fall. We'll we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out what is going on. Okay, so we're gonna have EMS check you out. I'm gonna talk to my partner, see what your your fiance over here said, and we're gonna go from there. I think I'm going to jail. Do you think that? I don't think you're going to jail. Right? You don't think? No. I am. If you were to bet on it, how long have you been doing? 
three, four years now. Almost okay, four years. So you don't think I'm going to jail? I don't know. I haven't I got the other. Go. I've only gotten one side of the story. I can't make those gonna, choices. I, I'm going to kill him. He's going to say that. He's going to say I had a gun. I don't have. A, I hate guns. He's going to say that because I said I'm going to kill you. But all women are saying that. I can't make decisions based on one side of a story. Well, my side isn't even that great. That's your fault. Now you're in the situation that you put yourself into. So you might as well just let the officer do his job. Can you tell me like 10 minutes ahead of time if you're going to put me in jail? Please. I will let like you know. I will let you know if you're going to jail. What? What kind of request is that? We determine, so we'd have to determine who a primary aggressor is in this situation. Is that the first aggressor? Is Not necessarily. Uh, I'm the first, but I'm the least violent. <laughs> this is definitely one of those moments she should have just used her rights to remain silent because she's doing herself zero favors here. But she was cooked either way because she live streamed everything. Actually, I can show Ten you seconds. a video of it. You want to see it? You have a video? Is Do you have a phone? cell phone? Is it a I have a, cell a video of it. If you can show me your phone, I swear to God. Is it on your phone? It's on your phone or anybody's phone. Where was it, was it on? My iPhone. No, it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Can I show you? I'll show you the bad part. I'll show you my part. You uploaded it to YouTube? It was, I was, I'm a live streamer. Okay. That's why I do. I used to make a lot of money doing it. Now I'm probably going to be in jail. Oh my God. I made so much money doing this. It sucks. Okay. All right. Okay. Here. And I mean, you also uh, assaulted the guy responsible for 95% of your income. So, uh, <laughs> That doesn't really help you there either. But she then goes on to show the cop the instant replay of her assaulting her top donor. Okay, that was it. Is that is that something? Are you want to see my hook? Don't talk. Do you see that? Don't talk. Yes, I do. I got jail. Is that jail what I did? <laughs> Look, let me. I Please have to talk me. to my partner. I can't just go off of this. Then, no, this is what happened. Uh, okay. She's just like, oh, let's rock my goats. Gonna get no, no, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, let me get the, the fire department over here. Let's. Am I going to be in let's, let's go over here so they can take it. I do not know. You think I am? <sighs> Elisa, he's not the judge. He's the witness. There's no point in doing all this. She live streamed herself assaulting a guy, and she won't stop begging the officer to let her go. That's not in his hands anymore. <laughs> what do you think of what he did to my head? That's not good, right? No, but you also can't hit him. I can't. Or threaten him. Yeah. I can't? This is just so ridiculous. But the fire department shows up to check her out. Look in the back of my head. I'm not sure if, like, you know, something... <laughs> you want, are you, like, in charge of that? Help. All right, so basically, my my head was, like, shaking all around, like, very violently. And I, I was not sure if I... November 5th, you will help them. What do you think, no? Well, like, back here kind of something, but I'm not sure. I mean, that hurts. So, you don't think I have like a concussion or anything? You think you could? It was just shaking a lot, like violent. So, nothing to look out for. All right. Thank you. You're answering all my questions. Oh, I am. Oh, okay. All right, thanks. Sorry. Sorry for wasting time. She was so disappointed with that. It seems like she wanted someone to coddle her, and the fireman just hit him with a, nah, you're good. <laughs> Her ego is just so hurt after that one. I'm so upset about this. I'm so sorry. I fucked up so bad. I'm so dumb. This comes down to me being really stupid and dumb. Stupid decisions. I'm an idiot. So before that first time that you hit him here? Yeah. Was there more before this? Um. Oh, yeah. I just stopped him from okay. Was there more before that? It was slapping all day. Okay. Is that bad? It's not good. Is it jail? It could be. You can't hit people. All right. I'm really sorry. Can I just say sorry or pay something? To, I'm sorry. I won't do it. I won't hang out with him anymore. He's the only person I ever hit in my life. Yeah, that's the get out of jail free card right there. Her lawyer is probably yanking all of his hair out watching this footage. I hate him so much. He cheated on me. Up with a woman that called me, a woman called me, and it was 20 year old, 20 year old that he's been cheating on me with two years. You met him like six months ago. What are you talking about? Please don't put me in jail. I can't handle it right now. I'll have a heart attack. Is there any other options? My partner is the one making the decision. What did he say? Did he say anything about me? He's talking to your fiance. You guys are both very confused about what you guys are. You probably should be what did he say? away from each other. That You yeah. guys were arguing and you hit him. He's just, I mean, we have the video. Yeah. But he hit me much worse than I hit him. Did you notice that? He grabbed you. He, I, never, he never... He was, had his hands around my neck. Yeah. Is that worse? There, at no point in the video did he have his hands around your neck. Oh, really? Well, okay, wait. So... If you didn't live stream all this, he would have likely gone to jail as well. Lesson learned here. Don't live stream every part of your life. If you start losing control of your own actions, maybe it's time to turn off the live stream.
Are you going to arrest me? We need a statement from everybody, okay? What about arrest him? Yeah, yeah, I was going to... What do you say? I have, sorry, I have to read you your rights to, to get, get a statement. Arrest? Read you your no, rights. Nothing handcuffs, right? I'm reading sorry. you your rights. About the handcuffs? Wait, the rights is the handcuffs. Oh, your Miranda warnings. Wait, is that is that what they say before they arrest you? I have to read you, okay? Wait, can you just answer the question? Is that what you read before I get arrested? This is what I read you before I can ask you questions. This is where this is a criminal investigation, okay? Oh my God. It's insane to me that she's like 40 years old and she just realized her actions have consequences. If you assault someone, especially while live streaming it, you're going to be arrested. It can't be more simple than that. This is not advanced at all. What the f I can't believe this is so stupid. I, I need to call my mom. I need to call my mom. That's a little late, but here's her side of the story. When you guys were, you guys were in the car, what okay, happened? I fucked up because I took him to therapy. So okay. stupid. I should have went alone. So I was feeling very insecure about the relationship. During therapy, I got my hands on his phone, found out he's been talking to this 20 year old for two years. Okay. And he lied. He's been lying. Okay. I ran out of therapy with his wallet, my wallet, my bag. Everything was in my my okay. everything. I was planning on giving him okay. I them all. I did slap him because he said he didn't cheat on me when I saw that he did. Okay. Then I he wanted a ride to Wellington, where we have our Airbnb in the car. His girlfriend called me. Okay. She called me. And he kept saying, I love you to her. How can I? And I just, you know, I kept slapping him. I was just like, <laughs> I didn't want to, like, throw him out of the car or, like, kill okay. him. I grabbed his ear, you know, just like, okay. I, I I, went like that so many you, times. you smacked him in the face a few times, and I saw you hit, hit him in the arm, you grabbed yeah, his ear. Grabbed. Okay, at any point before that, had he hit you before he, oh, he grabbed no. your Okay, no. so after you had hit him multiple times, he grabbed... What, what happened then? I thought he grabbed my neck, okay. but I don't want to lie. That's fine. So maybe he whatever, grabbed my head and like going like that. Okay. And, then, and then he was like, he was trying to do something with the car. Okay. He got control of the car somehow, even though I was driving. And then he, he threw me out of the car or I got out of the car. And that's when everybody started to help. Okay. So her lawyer might be pulling all of his hair out right now, but at least she's being upfront and honest about her mistakes. But it's also clear that she's hoping this would mean that she doesn't have to go to jail. That any information you'd so like to provide? scared of like going to jail. Any other, anything I failed to ask you, which you would like to like add to your statement? Like what? That's up to you. I just, I fucked up so bad. <laughs> so stupid. Time is now 15, 42 hours. This concludes the interview. Okay, I'm so scared. I'm so, so scared. So the state of Florida happens in this? The state of Florida has zero tolerance for domestic violence. Okay? Oh my god. So what does that mean? So we're like both in jail? Because we both hit each other? If we were unable to determine a primary aggressor, we would, you could both go to jail. Oh my god, I'm going to jail because I'm first. You, first does not necessarily mean primary aggressor. We have to look at all the evidence and determine who we believe to be the primary aggressor. What's primary mean? Wait, how the hell long jail do I have? I'm going to jail, I, I know. If, if you were to go to jail today, you would have to wait to see a judge in the morning. You'd go to first appearance, and then you would probably have a no, either a no violent contact order against your fiancé or a no contact order against your fiancé. What's no violent order? A no violent contact order would mean you can't have any violent contact with him or you'd be violating the judge's order. You wait, can't. wait, wait, wait. Well, okay, I'm very stupid. There's two different orders. Okay, okay. So there would just be a straight-up no contact order where you would not be able to go back to wherever you guys are staying. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to go back there. He's or gonna, it's going to, it just depends what the judge would give that. I'm going to be freaking out. I'm going to be freaking out. Can you please like do something so that doesn't happen? To stop you from freaking out? No, to stop me that from, I can't go to jail. I'm going to freak out. It's so sad. My dogs. Meanwhile, half an hour earlier, she was driving reckless all over town, swerving all around traffic to then hit Skoro while being a distracted driver, while calling the girl that Skoro allegedly cheated on her with while driving. And all of this was happening while she was live streaming and being distracted by her chat and donations as well. She's a danger to everyone she shares the road with. And here she's freaking out because she might actually have some consequences for once. It's just, uh, it's so insane. Where's your dog at? In the, in the... Where you guys are staying, right? No, no, they're in the, they're boarding. <laughs> okay. Why are they in boarding? Wait, wait, can't can have you, the Airbnb? Can you stop that from happening, please? Can you go to jail? I can't stop any of this. You can't hit people, you, especially people you're in a relationship with. It's domestic violence. Okay, so I'm in jail overnight, and then what happens? You'll see a judge in the morning. Can okay. I just say sorry? And like, can I pay something? The judge makes those decisions, and then the state attorney will decide whether or not they're going to follow you through with charges. The state attorney, what if they decide to do that? Then it goes, it either 
you would get a plea bargain. What's a plea you, bargaining out? They'd make you, they'd make a deal. Like you'd plead guilty or you'd plead no contact or whatever, and they'd yeah. come up with some kind of deal. Or you could go to trial, or they, they might not pick up the charges if your fiancé doesn't cooperate. Wait, they might not what? If your fiancé refuses to cooperate with the state attorney's office, they might not file charges. But they don't. he doesn't have to cooperate because it's domestic violence. And she live-streamed it all. So he doesn't really need to cooperate because everyone has already seen the video. So it's a combination of lack of self-control and lack of social awareness of when you should turn a stream off. I'm wondering if she's kept her stream on thinking that, oh, her spiraling out of control, that's just content. Because like IRL streaming is definitely a slippery slope because it rewards and amplifies the worst personality types. If he, Even if he didn't want to press charges, which I don't know if he does because I haven't asked him, my partner's talking to him. If he didn't want to press charges, the state would still press charges on his behalf because it's domestic. Is the caller 1020? And then what? How many years would I get? It's there's not years. It's this just it's the state attorney if they even file the charges. If they if I if they did, I have no it idea. Crime? It's it's, it's a I misdemeanor. Google it? Can we Google it. It's a misdemeanor. What's a misdemeanor? Less than one year in jail. Less than one year, I'll be in jail for a year. No, that's what a misdemeanor is. A misdemeanor is less than a year in jail. So I'd be in jail this year. For one year. No, it wouldn't, it's less. Anything less than a year in jail. A, a misdemeanor is up to 364 days in jail. I believe. So it'd be less than that? Yes, it'd be less than that. Can I claim insanity, please? <laughs> I mean, I guess this would add up. She needs to talk to a lawyer, though, not this cop. You have to speak to an attorney when this is all through. I can't. So, so it's definitely less than a year, though, right? For a misdemeanor, yeah. Oh, my God. But my family is going to completely disown me. They hate me anyway. They hate me anyway. Nobody talks to me in my family. So less than a year. How do you get out of spending jail time? I don't know if you will get jail time. I don't know if the state attorney is going to pick this up. It's just stuff you have to go through the court for. You'll go to jail, you'll see a judge in the morning, the judge will set your court date. Do you think I'm going to jail tonight? Based off the video, probably. Yes? I'm based, going to jail tonight? Based off the video. Can I take a Xanax, please? No, please do not take a Xanax while you're in my custody. No. Wait, wait, I am going to jail tonight? Based off the video that I've seen, probably, yes. Is he going to jail? I don't know. It's for him to make this decision. He is but, the arresting deputy. I'm going to jail tonight, so you're going to handcuff me. I'm not handcuffing you right now. So right now just, we are just talking. I mean, that's the stance that kids have when their teacher is getting on to them. Also, the whole, please don't take that under my custody. I mean, I could only imagine how high maintenance she is. She seems like an absolute nightmare for any guy or anyone who has to be around her. Can you not handcuff me if I'm going to jail? I'll just walk with you. You have to handcuff me? Yes. Anybody oh that goes God. to jail has to be handcuffed. If you were arrested today, what do you want? Do you want that car to be towed or do you want to let him drive it? Right here. That's also up to you, but something happens to your car. Can I have my son? That's up. That's up to you. you I, can... I'm just, I just, I just want to die right now. It's okay. Look. <laughs> do you want to let him drive the car? Do you want to park it here? Do you want to have it? Through? I would feel bad for her if she didn't immediately go back to IRL streaming while driving under the influence right after getting out of jail. It seems like she's only sorry when she's been caught. And the only reason she's being caught is that she's essentially snitching on herself by live streaming everything. Well, then I guess she realizes she's actually going to jail. So at least you're giving me eye contact. Sorry. Okay. So you think you're handcuffing me today? I don't think I'm handcuffing you. You think, I think he, he is? might? He might? Yeah. Or he is? Like he's going to be the arresting deputy of whoever gets arrested. Okay. Somebody's getting arrested? If, yes, it's domestic violence. In the state of Florida, there's zero tolerance, tolerance for domestic violence. So oh my God. Be going to jail. Somebody's going to be going to jail? Yeah. One of us? Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's going to be me. You are getting arrested. Ah, oh my God. You are getting arrested. Ah, oh my God. Can you not watch? Can you not watch? Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm working with you. Okay, okay. I'm allowing you to sit here in this comfortable chair <laughs> instead of cuffing you up right oh, really? now and putting you in my chair. Okay. So okay. what does that mean? So just... Hold on for a moment. It means you're being arrested for assaulting someone while live streaming. It's not rocket science. But then the important questions started coming in like... Okay, you don't have to look at it. Some kind of a mugshot? Uh, I'm trying to... Do you want to leave some of this in the car? It's a big up, it's a glass bottle. It'll get thrown out. You can't take it to the jail. Can I take some makeup though for my mugshot? No? You no, know, you're not going to put makeup on in the jail. Oh, yeah. Like this you want to... <laughs> I guess there's a lesson here. Do your makeup before committing a crime. But Elisa was charged with misdemeanor assault and spent a night in jail. After being released, she didn't stream until her first court date. Or, well, after her first court date. And here, 
it seems like she just made the whole situation worse for herself. I'm gonna have to give a TLDR of the live stream as the VOD was deleted before I could back it up in time. But during the stream, she stated that she had a no contact order with Skoro. She fired her therapist, apparently, the one that she ran off with with Skoro and started the whole thing. Her chat then called her multiple times and told her to plead guilty. She then had a friend show up to support her on a personal level, but instead of interacting with this friend, she live streamed and kind of like ignored the friend. And every time the friend tried to like talk to her on a personal level, she just kept bringing the live stream chat into this. So it turned into the live stream trying to roast her friend who was there to support her instead of her actually having a conversation with someone who seemingly cares about her. And then it became kind of awkward because she just kind of lingered around for about an hour until suddenly Elisa offered her an $8,000 a month job for just being her friend on her live stream. Then to just make things even worse for herself, she's not going to beat the distracted uh, driving allegations. That's for sure with this live stream. Because she had uh, two alcoholic drinks, then drew while live streaming to a new Airbnb and the chat spammed her over and over again saying that uh, <laughs> Skoro paid for this. I don't know if that's true or not. Most likely she paid for it with the donation money that he sent her. I thought it was pretty fascinating that distracted driving and I guess assault essentially got her arrested. But then as soon as she's out of jail again, she has two mixed drinks and then immediately drives while live streaming and being distracted. It's just so chaotic and clearly she has not learned any lesson whatsoever. Then when her friends are like begging her to like stop live streaming because they just wanted to spend time with her and actually like, you know, be there to support her because she's going through a lot. She just wanted to keep live streaming because she kept saying that she was the number one IRL streamer in the world and would never turn off the stream. And then finally, at the end of that stream, her friends started warning her on the live stream about talking too much about Skoro. But who knows? Maybe she actually listened to her friends because she deleted the VOD for this live stream, but most likely it's already been downloaded. It's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens with this case because this is one of the worst cases of a live stream meeting their top donor. But as some of you guys may have seen, I've actually finally launched my brand Matt City where we sell these uh, wall and floor mats, the, the, the Atozi City mat right here. And uh, we, we have a whole bunch of other ones like this one, which is uh, LA. And then we also have Manhattan. And then we also have these like full desk mouse pads as well. And if these are too big, we also have a medium size and a small size as well. We also got Manhattan and LA. And then a couple other exclusive mouse pad designs as well. We will be dropping collabs and new cities in the future. So if you want another way to support my family and I, you can go to matt.city, which will be in the top of the link down below and check out the site. Please let me know what you think of it as we're just getting started and we have so much more to come. But speaking of the whole Elisa situation, if you want to know how we got to the video that we watched today, you can check out this video here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.